My name is Ansha and I am an educator of Unacademy and you can follow me on our website www.unacademy.com or you can download the Unacademy learning app uh, where you can find my other courses as well. And in this lesson I am going to give you an introduction to cryptography and if you like this video and if it helped you please rate, recommend and review and please don't forget to subscribe to your YouTube channel. So guys, um, first of all let's see why do we need cryptography why do we need such a technique so what do you think guys why do we need it so to have a better understanding of this need let's consider this example so we have two person here uh, Bob and Alice so Bob is sending a message to Alice saying hi Alice and he's sending this message over internet all right now we all are internet users and we use it every single day but there is a big question of security isn't it so let me ask you is the internet secure or how much secure is it? It is very clear that there are security concerns. So uh, see, this is the medium here, isn't it? The internet is the medium here for this message or this is a passage for this message. But it is not only a medium for this particular message, but there are much more traffic in here. So there may be a person sending a message to another person here or there may be a person uh, downloading some content from internet or there may be a person uploading some content to internet so um this is not just a medium for this particular message but there are much more um many more data transmissions happening here okay so this message can be corrupted because it is not just bob and alice using internet there may be some uh, attackers intruders they may be trying to corrupt our messages or our data so uh, this message can be corrupted so uh, to provide security and protect the valuable information we can use cryptography so so we can use cryptography here to provide security to our messages or any data so if you use uh, cryptography here then bob can send this message to alice very securely and safely okay so that is why we need cryptography now let's see what is cryptography okay so let's take the same scenario that bob is sending message to alice saying hello alice so bob is the sender Alice is the receiver and hello Alice is our message okay so uh, what was the problem here if you send this message uh, over internet some third parties can come and access this message okay uh, they can corrupt the message now uh, what is our objective our objective is to provide security okay so Bob wants to send this message to Alice and he wants to send it securely okay and not just like this he want to send it safely so what is he doing he is first encrypting the message okay so he is using a key so there is a key and he is using this key to encrypt this message and transform it into a whole new form okay so hello alice this message is changed into this form okay so before sending the message he is encrypting the message using a key so his message can be sent securely by transforming the whole new con whole content into a new form others can't understand so this is important others can't understand okay so hello alice is changed into this form this code okay so this is the encrypted form of this particular message okay so before sending he is encrypting the message and then the encrypted message is sent over internet and then uh, while receiving Alice can decrypt this message using the same key into the original form okay now what is the advantage of doing this so when a uh, third party comes so, well who is the third party the attackers okay so when attackers come uh, he'll be getting this message and not this message he'll be getting the encrypted the transformed message and he won't understand a thing they can only revert this message if if and only if he have the key okay since he don't have the key uh, he can only view this message and cannot decrypt it only uh, the sender and receiver will be having the key and they can only decrypt or encrypt the message okay so it is completely secure isn't it so uh, in this case it was uh, when a third party comes he can when a third party comes here then he could easily access this message he could easily understand the content but in this case uh, in the encrypted case then he'll be getting some code 6055 something like that then uh, he won't understand a thing and he won't be able to use and he won't be able to make use of that information okay so that is cryptography so uh, the definition can be 
Like this, the art of protecting information by transforming it into an unreadable format. Okay, unreadable format. So this is the readable format and this is the unreadable format. So when attackers come, they get the unreadable format of the message. So um, it is uh, completely safe. Okay, so that is cryptography. Okay. Now uh, we have encryption and decryption. So this was our uh, scenario. Bob was sending message to Alice, but not just not just sending the message directly but he's uh, encrypting the message before sending and then Alice is decrypting before reading the message okay so uh, let's see what is encryption so transforming information from readable format to unreadable format is encryption so this hello Alice is changed to this form this is encryption okay we are locking the information okay we are locking information so that uh, only the intended receiver can see it okay and not not the attackers okay so that is encryption now what is decryption transforming information from unreadable format to readable format so this encrypted message is changed to original message that is decryption okay so uh, for for encryption and decryption, we need this secret key. So this key is shared between the sender and receiver. And what is a key? So a key is a string of bits used by cryptographic algorithms. So there will be uh, encryption algorithms and there will be decryption algorithms. So these algorithms will be making use of this secret key. And key is nothing but a string of bits. Okay. And it is used to transform plain text into cipher text or vice versa. So what is plain text and cipher text? We'll uh, learn in the next lesson. Anyway, cipher text means the encrypted version and plain text means the original message. Okay. So key remains private and secures the communication. So key. So the key is very uh, confidential. We need to protect it from any unauthorized disclosure. Okay. So that is uh, cryptography and that is encryption and decryption and that is key. Okay. So we use cryptography to provide security and protect the valuable information okay so uh, our data can be very confidential so we need to encrypt those messages or data before we uh, send it to any anybody so um, uh, today uh, almost every uh, application so website uh, everyone is using a different encryption technique so that uh, they can um, they can uh, protect the um, all the data transmitter. So uh, you uh, consider this uh, internet banking, online transactions and all very confidential information are um, passed over internet. So it is very clear that these kind of information need top class security and without cryptography we can't even think of uh, doing such kind of uh, transactions online. Okay. So that is cryptography and in the next lesson uh, we can learn more about cryptographic techniques okay thank you